so we can conclude now this first session and we can go to the uh, to the next session. Um, that is uh, a very short presentation um, to reflect about uh, two specific points, uh, two elements. The, the first one is the question, why do we design project? Or why do we take the decision on the first place to design project? And the second one is about the consequences of this decision. So what happens after we take the decision of right project? You will better understand now what I'm talking about um, after I'm, uh, I will be sharing the presentation. So I will share now one, the screen once again. So, okay, this is the beginning. Um, so, uh, Writing a grant application, managing an international project, coordinating an intercultural activity. Why do we do this thing? Of course, we do this thing because we want to make projects, okay? We want to make a change, uh, we want to involve young people. And um, sometimes we take for granted that, um, yeah, everything is going to be successful, you know? Uh, if you, uh, Google uh, words like uh, youth exchange or international project or Erasmus plus, you might find uh, in the results picture like this, you know, smiling, happy faces, uh, young people joining successful and effective activities, which is very good. All these uh, pictures can boost our motivation to organize activities, to write projects, to look for grants. Uh, we don't have anything against this, but sometimes we tend to uh, uh, forget all the hard work behind this. Uh, so this is the reason why we are going to show uh, another environment, another context, which is something a little bit gloomier. Uh, this is a completely different scenario. So uh, we don't want to scare you, of course, but we think that this scenario can be more realistic. So it is something that matches more our reality. So you can see here, there is a person, a hitchhiker on the side of the street. And uh, this person has a problem, of course. Uh, maybe his car is broken or he doesn't have a car in the first place. And this person needs to go to his destination. Uh, but he doesn't have a car, he doesn't have a mean of transportation to reach his destination. So he has a problem and he needs some help. Uh, in our metaphor, this is the applicant. So it could be us, uh, it could be you, it could be me. Uh, the point is that we are on the side of the street because we need support. And this support could be money or could be any kind of support from an institution, from donors, from organizations. So we don't have the means to go to a specific destination. And for this reason, we just uh, need for help, we hitchhike, okay? The conditions, the external condition is uh, like the dark night in this, uh, in this example, in this metaphor. Uh, maybe you can imagine that there is fog, it's cold, Maybe it's uh, starting to rain, so the conditions are not ideal, actually. And in our metaphor, this is the lack of resources. Uh, lack of resources means that uh, sometimes not uh, NGO, uh, not for profit organization, they do not have uh, so much money, they do, don't have so many resources, uh, they don't have many logistic facilities, and so on. And um, we ideally we could go to to the bank and we can ask uh, fifty thousand euros to the director to organize uh, a youth exchange or a training, but very very hard hardly we can get this money. So unfortunately, this is our uh, current situation. These are the external conditions, and uh, but we are not alone. Okay, uh, out there there might be also donors, in our case, are institutions like, for example, 
the European Commission or the Council of Europe or other private donors, sponsor, or even other bigger organizations that can help us, okay? So it might happen that the donor can stop their car. In this case, the car is the grant or the support that we can get, okay? So the donors can st stop the car and can say, come on, hop on board, we can help you, okay? Of course, uh, it is not that easy. Uh, in order to get a grant, uh, we need to, to write convincing projects and convincing application form. Uh, we need to have clear idea about our destination, where we want to go and what we want to do. And this is not enough because actually there is another element which is mm, very important. In our metaphor, this element is, all, is the road. So is the path or is the street. Uh, in our metaphor, this represents the direction, the guidelines and the priorities. And these are decided by the donor, by the grant. This means that uh, we as applicants, we don't have the total freedom to decide about the direction. Uh, whenever we uh, received a grant or a support, uh, we should also follow uh, the requirement and the criteria of the donors. Just to make an example, if we received a grant for an activity, then uh, the donor can ask us uh, to provide uh, visibility to our result, can ask us to disseminate uh, the project result in a specific ways, uh, uh, adding specific logos, uh, Etc. And we have also specific requirements about uh, reporting, uh, budgeting, and so on. That means that, on the first place, whenever we decide to ask for uh, a lift yeah, or a grant or a support, uh, we need to have clear ideas. And uh, we will see that is another important element. We need to clarify this together with the partnerships and together with the target groups and the beneficiaries of our future project. And another very important element as, uh, we, as we are stressing here in this metaphor is that once you get the, the grant or the support, you should follow specific direction, guidelines and priorities. Uh, that means that every project is a commitment, okay? Uh, you don't have the total freedom, as we said before, to decide the direction. Nevertheless, uh, there are very high chances to reach your destination if your ideas are clear and if you're aware of this, okay? So it is very important for us that you know and that you are aware about this. And uh, if ideas are clear, your project will be a very successful journey. And if you plan the project well, you will reach your destination. So the darkness will disappear and you will see the sun, you will see the light and you will reach your destination and your dreams and your task and your achievement. Uh, we, we, we wanted to be clear about it because uh, we started you know, with the smiling faces, with the happy participants. Yes, of course, this is our target. I can, I can interrupt the, uh, the sharing. This is our target, but we have also to be realistic. We live in a specific uh, environment. There are possibility to get uh, grants and uh, uh, resources and support, but uh, we have also to be realistic and we have to take into account that whenever we ask for support, we have to follow specific criteria, okay? And uh, today, in today's webinar, also the next webinars, we are going to get into detail. We, we are going to explore uh, closer all the, all the steps that will allow us to uh, define and to design a successful project uh, involving all, all the stakeholders, involving partners and involving uh, potential beneficiaries and so on. Uh, as said, it was very important for us to clarify this. And uh, now we can go farther and uh, Tile will uh, accompany you to the explanation of the project cycle so we can uh, really start uh, getting deeper into 
the next phases of project management. So please, Tila, the floor is to you. Thank you, Jeff. 